Well, every school in our area addresses bullying, but one local teacher found a new creative way to combat what is most parents' worst nightmare. KX HD News reporter Alexandra Bush shows us why a Caldwell Middle School teacher allows students to use their cell phones in school. You do not have to tell them. Kelly Lazo is a middle school science teacher, and she's also a mom to a middle school student. There's really nothing good about middle school, um, and so you at least got to be a shining light in their in their day every day. As a teacher, she wants to make sure her students enjoy being in school. As a mom, she makes sure her daughter is staying away from drama. Kids were telling me the other day there's a site now where they go on and they can ask questions like, not nice questions, you know, and then kids go on there and post stuff and then they go on there and read it and if your name shows up, well, that would be devastating. As an eighth grade girl, I, I can't even imagine. So she's fighting fire with fire. <laughs> BYOD is a program she started this year in Caldwell. Students bring their own mobile device to school, download an app, and play educational games, all of which are controlled by the teacher. They're always using it just to text or take pictures or go on Instagram, and we're teaching them that they can be used to learn with. Um, they, they still play games, but we use programs that are made for teachers to put your content into a game format. They're having, they're enjoying what they're doing. So they're not texting or doing stuff they're not supposed to do. When cell phones came in, our first goal was to keep them out. Um, and then as they slowly uh, became part of everyday uh, life with every child having one, we, we pretty much had to kind of reroute our thinking. And so we try to take a negative and turn it into a positive. I haven't had any incidences this year of taking any phones up that I've caught anybody doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing, that I've had to call their parents, nothing. While students are in school, teachers and administrators are able to make sure they're using technology wisely. But they say it's a team effort with parents when they're at home. It has to be the school and the parents working together. So we're doing our best at school to try to track it down. And uh, with the parents at home, my hope and goal would be that they would also be looking on the child's phone to make sure that it's clean and there's, there's nothing bad on it per se. If we teach a kid to drive before we let them give them a driver's license. Um, a phone is, is almost as dangerous as a car. Kelly's mom tips, talk to your kids about what they're doing online. And well, there's always monitoring your phone bill. Uh, it's really easy to check. You pay the bill. Kelly says she sees as much success with her daughter at home as she does in school. It's just revolutionized my classroom because the kids are having fun. They're excited when they walk through the door. It's, it's changed everything about the way I teach. In Caldwell, Alexandra Bush, KAGS HD News. Lazo says the program has been so successful that they plan to expand it next year by training more teachers how to use these online tools.